The African Development Bank believes that the new carbon tax at the European Union's border could significantly limit progress in Africa's trade and industrialization by penalizing the growth of value-added exports, including steel, cement, iron, aluminium and fertilizers. According to the president of the African Development Bank, Akinwumi Adesina, with Africa's energy shortages and heavy dependence on fossil fuel, particularly diesel, means that Africa will once again be forced to export raw materials to Europe, leading to further deindustrialization in Africa. It has a negative impact on Africa. The reason is because uh, African companies that are making cement, that are making steel, that are making aluminum, that are making fertilizers, that try to export to Europe, are going to be charged a border tax of 80 euros Per, uh, 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 per ton, okay? So that is very, very expensive. All that's going to do is that countries in Africa that are already suffer from tariff escalation, right, when they add value to whatever they produce, now you're forcing them down the value chain. Dr. Adesina points out that Africa is already neglected in the global energy transition. According to the African Development Bank president, Africa has received just 60 billion US dollar or 2% of the 3000 billion US dollar in global investment in renewable energy over the past two decades, a trend that will now have a negative impact on its ability to export competitively to Europe. Talking about Africa mobilizing resources, it cannot be losing 25 billion dollars a year and then be penalized. It can't, we, we, look, we only contribute 3% of all the emissions anyway, you know, and the total amount of room available in the world today then for any emission is 400 gigaton. Developed countries use up 4,000 4, gigatons of it. So give Africa some room to be able to develop, to be able to have a stable energy mix. The rapid decarbonization of Africa's fossil fuel exporting countries could reduce commodity export by up to 150 billion US dollars according to preliminary findings of the recent study commissioned by the Afrexim Bank.